What? There we go. Wanted to make sure not to copyright infringe, uh, however you would say that. We are in Lake Oswego with the family. I think we got him. He's asleep. Finally, yeah. He worked himself up. He had a little. A little bit little of a moment. little moment, but right as we get here, um, he's calming down. So oh, yeah. we're gonna check out the water, but I just wanted to let you guys know I tweeted something very cool. Finding Hope Synergy Collaborations is coming uh, to a mobile device or video screen near you very soon. Hope.dev Summit, uh, Finding Hope as a Millennial is coming November 1st through the 3rd and I'm just so happy and grateful for the opportunity uh, to have the courage to post all my bank accounts uh, publicly and let my inner circle and crew know exactly what I'm worth. Are you okay now? I thought you were dying. Yeah, you're okay. Holy cow. Okay, well this is my nephew. He's the boss. I'm not going to show him, but he's in there behind us. There's a human. There's a human. You probably see something. Maybe da, 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 oh. sneak peek, sneak peek, sneak peek, oh, sneak yeah. peek of can't keep up with the Collins. Uh, but we are not talking about that right now. We're talking about hope.dev. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Whether you're feeling hopeless, hopeful, or our hope, just know it's part of the process. We're feeling hopeful. We're feeling hopeless. We're feeling like hope every single day. And that's a daily grind. And that's what life is all about. So I'm going to make sure that this little guy is entertained. Okay? No, but you don't want to see me. You want to see this cute little girl. You want to see the brilliant, cute girl. I'll set up the stroller then. I hope. I'll try. All right, this is live and uncut. There we go. Oh, this has got hydraulics. Um, see the, the legs? Both of them. Pull the, not that, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Is that locked? Yeah, you were pulling the emergency release. <laughs> okay, nice little stroller. Super nice. We got the ball. Ball. Diaper bag. And we're about to be walking down to the water. Baby shark, 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 shark. Yeah, we were crushing it in that song. Uh-oh. We got some food down. And sanitizer. What is this? Fruit and vegetable. I'm going to... Have him positioned like that. So, we are enjoying a beautiful day here in Lake Oswego. It is Saturday, and uh, we get to hang out with some family, friends, um, acquaintances. So, shout out to our Synergy partners, our Synergy sponsors, affiliates, and everyone making this happen every day. Uh, so happy and grateful to have this opportunity. Uh, OK Will Travel has been documenting the experience, so that's been... An absolute blast. Oh, this is Hope Dot Dev. So oh, oh, There's probably tears. You want Wawa? Oh, you want Wawa? Oh, yeah. Good job. Good job to ask Wawa. We got your ball. We'll show him the ball. What do you want? This? Oh, he wants this. Crackers. You smart baby. Here you go. Oh, stop. <laughs> he grabbed that. Hi. Can I scoot you up a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Good job, brother. Good. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Mm. You hold the bag? Sometimes you can. One, two, three, baby, baby. There you go, baby. Oh, I have you too? Huh? Oh, I have you too? Yeah. I'll hold this. Oh, can I get my coffee? Yeah. All righty, it's picture time. Oh, 
Oh, he looks so happy. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. That is cute, man. There's somebody I'm gonna send to. You know what, Bub? I have an idea. Remember we talked about the hub, right? So, I'll hold all the phones. I'll put all the, yeah. I'll, can you just make sure it's on you and I? Yeah. All right, we are at the park. We're gonna go walk around, go see the duckies. How many? How many? We're getting adjusted to Oregon, but ooh, coffee. Ooh, coffee. All if you guys right. didn't know, I wasn't drinking coffee, and then I've been on the road, so you gotta get back to it sometimes. How's your graham cracker? Good? Let's go. I've lost my appetite. So, it's a beautiful area. Trying to know and understand what you guys want to see here. So, we are showing downtown Lake Oswego. It's pretty beautiful. Check it out. Green Street. Henry Dodge Green and his brother John Green came to Oregon from New York in 1852 in partnership with H.C. Leonard. The Green Brothers procured the gas and water franchises for the city of Portland. The cost of shipping cast iron gas and water pipe around the Horn of South America was one of the reasons they joined W.S. Ladd in founding the Oregon Iron Company in 1865. Henry served as secretary of the company from 1865 to 1870. The furnace was built on four acres of land he purchased at the mouth of Sucker Creek, now Oswego Creek. Henry Dodge Green and John Green. Henry and John. Henry and John making it happen. Very cool. Look at this. Nice, beautiful day. Hey. Okay. So happy and grateful. Oh to be here. Hope Masters, I can't wait to bring you here. Let's check it out. Ooh. Ooh. Alcoholic drinks are prohibited. Mask up. Enter park here. Mask must be worn when six feet of physical distancing cannot be maintained when others from outside your household. <clears throat> Great. Oh, this is cool. I've been here before, but it's been a while. Checking out the Oregon Iron Foundry. Oh, this is tight. Wow. Why? Wow. Oh, there's something up there. Oh, perfect. Benny, this is cool, man. Look at this. It is Look cool. The boss. The boss. <clears throat> Oregon Iron Company Furnace, 1866, has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. How do I get on the Department of the Interior, bub? That's something that put on your, uh, your list. Okay. I want to be on the Department of the Interior. So, 
I'm telling you to do things throughout this video. Your job is to watch this again later. So you can just take your time, enjoy your time with family, and be the boss. And I'm also going to teach you about content that you can add to our Instagram later. So it's all going to be in this video. Okay? So you just enjoy time. I'll get little clips. And then later, we're going to onboard in 10 minutes everything we thought was worthy. The cornerstone's gone. Hope. Hope. The search for the missing cornerstone. The icon. And maybe it's somewhere else in your purse? And you know what's interesting? So there's a window, and there was a little room. If you look through the other side, there was a room. I bet someone escaped from there. No, I can see it. They set off an escape route. You don't see it, do you? There's a way to get down. In case of emergency. Down those little spikes? There's shelving, so you can either climb over one, sure, or you can come down on that. A built in escape route. I think people that build something like this did things intentionally. No, no, no. Liv, it's not maybe. Do you know? Do you know the, the, the uh, engineering it takes to build something like this? How this has to be perfect? Like, look at the bricks. Missing too, though. Isn't there only yeah. one corner still? Right, what is it? Maybe rope went around here. There's also a big fire. Yeah. Can you read the plaque? I, I, I read one plaque up there. Well, Kai was telling me about it last time. Oh. There used to be a tower and they need iron or something. Yeah, and it foundry. Down. Yeah, it was a foundry. That's what an iron system. What? Did you say? Is that what a foundry is? It's iron. Uh, um, not just iron, but yeah, metal. So the blast engine, the wooden blast engine, and water turbine that drove it were located in the blast house. What is missing from the furnace today? So find something that would be a fun fact. Oh, cool. Here's what I want you to post, Liv. When you see this sign, this means post it. You have a picture of it too? No. But you'll have to figure out how to get there. I'll try to do this. And I'm going to stay live so you can just rewatch this and let me communicate to you without having to be with you. So, any have questions? Leave, how do I get the no, that's what I said. Remember, right before we leave, we do an onboarding. So I'll be like, hey, that's one of the places. And if we don't have it, then you just screenshot it. A uh, recipe for one ton of iron. Two tons of iron ore, one ton of charcoal fuel, half a ton of limestone, a flux that helped to separate impurities and create slag, and five tons of air. Yeah, tons of air. Five tons of air. Is that today's recipe or is that what they used to refer to it back in the day? A ton of air. Oh, above. They added 12 feet 20 years later. Can you see the difference yep. between the old and the new? Absolutely. Oh, wow. Do you see the difference between the old and the new? That's neat, Benny. What do you think about that? Well, let me relook at it then. Let me look at that room without that there. <laughs> huh. So live where they added the 12 feet is right above where that window is. So that probably was open. Huh. 
huh? Liv, come here, come here. Come here. This is really curious. Curious. From here. Look at the look inside. Right? So look actually at the screen. Look at the screen. Right? And then you have a cave, a cave, and then a window. How far down do you think the window is? Now look. 30 feet? 12 feet? No. That's way further than 12 feet. 12 feet is 4 yards. This. This is 12 feet. From here to there. That's, that's, that's longer than 12 feet, for sure. Mm -hmm. So how far is that? That's like 30 feet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 30 feet. All right, now let's go to the other side. How many feet is it from there? It doesn't look as high. Because that's where the new stuff starts, which is 12 feet. Right. So there's a window on the inside that we can't see? Or is it a staircase? Oh, like on the inside? Yeah. Like where it starts it could be a doesn't mean it's a wall. tunnel. Yeah. It ascends. Or descends. That's really thick. Pure. So when we're writing our book and we have characters mm -hmm. in 2033, right? Mm -hmm. Cage running for president. It's on his campaign trail. He's 13 years ahead of today. So. Good question. Yeah. Could you? It's thirty-four, so technically it could be in fifty. Yeah. So technically it could be in two years. Why three? Because I don't think I won the first time. But are you trying the second, like in the six years or eight years? I said twenty twenty. But would you try in twenty twenty-eight and with the intention of winning twenty thirty-two? I'll try with the intention of winning every time. I'm just saying I ex where I expect to be. I can always shatter my own paradigm, right? Well, I'm glad you said that you're, you were going to be win because I thought you were just not even going to look at it. I don't know, I'd run. What a beautiful little place. The duckies? She's taking you to the duckies? You got the, the luxury treatment. You being shy, you realize, you realize you're being shy. All right, so what is that called, by the way, in the game? Um, the river of hope. The gate to the river of hope. The gateway to the river of hope. People think it's a tunnel. Gateway to no, no, hold on. Listen. People think it's a tunnel. You climb the wall and take the stairs. Everyone walks straight through and thinks they're now in hope. Very few climb up the stairs and emerge in a whole new world. Out. Okay. Yeah. Do you get that, Olivia, and when I'm talking to you in the future? Because if you ask your questions now, it'll be easier. I guess I don't look at that as a gate. I I'm a making tunnel. a story. Yeah. But um, it doesn't matter. You don't have to look at it. That's my question. Why are you changing it from what it looks like to something else? Because it's my world. 
Because everything that you look at, just like a muggle would look at, seems normal. But in my book, just like you, everyone, you would have walked in, walked through, and been like, yeah, okay, the River of Hope is cool. It's a beach and it's a party island. Awesome. It's very quaint. But people like myself go around it, look up and down it, see it, Google it, look at the facts, hear what you said. You said they built 12 feet. And I was like, wait, 12 feet? I see where it started. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what if the, 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 the window on the outside well, wasn't a window? It was actually a balcony. So you could stand on it and it wasn't covered. Mm -hmm. So then you said the 12 feet. And yes, I went outside and it lined up directly. They built on top of what would have been the balcony. Mm -hmm. So back in the day, what if it was actually someone's balcony that they overlooked when there wasn't trees here they could look down the river but it was really a foundry slash lighthouse slash spotter yeah so that's why I'm turning it into in the book Kind of like the in Morpheus, the left hand and the right hand. You know, imagine we had a guide that said, go find the gate at the River of Hope. And everyone is told as they tour this area that they walk through the gate. And no one, no one's always been like, yeah, it's a cool place. It's a gimmick. You know, this guy named Frederick Hope or <laughs> Frederick Meyer built this. And they always say no one's figured out the puzzle yet <laughs> because his wife will come to you when you figure out the puzzle. And you and I, little travel bloggers, okay, we'll travel, trying to build something cool. Like, what is it? What is it? My dad would have read it. And we My parents would have read it. climb up, walked up the stairs, and emerged in his office. Where we found his journal. Cade found Jim Rohn's journals. Not at the end of his life like he thought he would, but at the very beginning. Which is why he says he has the cheat code. Join us as we divulge and share the secrets of personal development. Hope.dev, the summit. Gamify your life. You got anything to say, P.S.? Yes, keep watching the live stories, man. Yeah. Some good content. This is where it's at. She's going to transcribe all this for me. Peace.